Hello, dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are talking about eosinophils and what does it mean if they are higher than normal. Eosinophils are the cells of our immunity that are full of granules. You can see these colorful things in the picture. Little dots. Eosinophil comes to the parasite, releases these substances and kills the parasite. That means these substances are quite toxic. Also, we know that eosinophils, they um, take part in allergies. And these are two main reasons of increased eosinophils. Later, the science brought us new data that eosinophils also help in function of bone marrow, help in function of T lymphocytes, other immune cells, help to regulate their uh, metabolism of glucose, of fats, help in tissue repair, in uh, vaccination responses and in uh, tumor surveillance. So let's figure out the reasons why the eosinophils may be increased and talk about what to do. Let's get started. So somebody gets the blood test results and he can see the eosinophils are increased. But you must always see if there is a percentage or if there is an absolute absolute count. And we need to watch the absolute counts of eosinophils. Here you can see normal is from 0 to 0 0.6 and if they are increased up to 1.5 uh, that means it's mild, mild increase. Mild increase can be caused by many various reasons like infections, some autoimmune conditions, HIV, primary biliary cirrhosis, it's a liver problem with impaired outflow of bile also inflammation of vessels, vasculitis, or different granulomatous diseases when the granulomas are formed. These are all disbalance of immune system. So we need to find the reason. Sometimes the increase of eosinophils may be not mild but moderate or severe, uh, meaning from 1.5 to 5 or even more than 5. The problem is eosinophils are, have aggressive substances that can cause thrombosis, Fibrosis, meaning the scar tissue will grow in the organs where eosinophils comes, come. For example, in heart, it can cause heart fibrosis. It's serious complication. It can cause, for example, a rash or neuropathy when the neural system is damaged. You can get, for example, weakness or numbness or gait uh, imbalance, uh, vertigo, etc. If the person has high eosinophils, we always need to understand if it's dangerous, if it's high, do we need to do something urgently now or not. In the case when there are no complaints, the increase is uh, very small, we can just wait and uh, redo the test in one month or one and a half months, for example. So this waiting technique is quite appropriate in this case. If we see a lot of complaints, if we suspect organ damage, we need to act fast. Number one cause of increased eosinophils is parasitic infection. These are the parasites that can cause increased eosinophils. Usually the increase is uh, moderate to severe, meaning more than 1.5, uh, especially if it's an acute condition, something new, new infection. If it's chronic, not very severe, not very active, maybe it will be less than 1.5. And you can see there are intestinal worms here, there are some parasites that live in liver or lungs or neural tissue. That's why you need to do always the stool tests to check feces for parasites. Uh, do it three days, uh, three stool samples are needed at least. Also there are DNA tests for parasites in stool. Um, also very important to take uh, blood for antibodies against parasites. and maybe take bile or sputum or uh, fluid in the neural system for checking. And sometimes even liver or muscle biopsy may be needed. A young man coming from Thailand has a high fever, has some belly pain, has some rash on his uh, stomach, on his buttocks. The doctors prescribed him uh, the antibiotics. Uh, he felt well after several days, but afterwards in three weeks he developed very high eosinophils, up to 20. You remember normal is up to 0 0.6 or 0 0.3 in some labs and he gets 20. He was checked uh, for 
his antibodies in the blood and also stool samples and they found that he has the strangyloides. These are parasites that uh, most probably they penetrated his feet when he was walking on the sand barefoot in Thailand. The doctors prescribed ivermectin and everything was fine afterwards. Infectionists or parasitologists are the doctors that deal with parasitic infections. Next, second most common group of causes are allergies and drug reactions. As you can see here, if you have some allergic seasonal uh, rhinitis, your nose is floating, for example, or you have asthma, or you have some skin allergies, uh, most probably you will have some mild increase in eosinophils. But if you have, for example, chronic sinusitis uh, with uh, polyps in your nose and aspirin allergy, you may have a uh, higher eosinophils levels already. Also, there are some, for example, um, fungal infection like aspergillus uh, in the lungs that, cause, that has a very um, profound allergic component. And you may also have incre a severe increase in eosinophils and some other conditions. Also, dress syndrome is a very severe reaction to drugs. And as you can see here, some antibiotics like penicillins or cephalosporins or sulfur drugs, they can cause such severe uh, increase in eosinophils. Also, allopurinol for gout uh, treatment or some uh, uh, anti-epileptics against seizures, against uh, the pain. Uh, they use carbamazepine or phenytoin or valproic acid, some uh, anti-HIV medicines or uh, even painkillers, anti-inflammatory drugs that you use to uh, decrease your fever is like ibuprofen also can cause this syndrome. That's why if you have high eosinophils, always check for uh, drugs, supplements or vitamins you are taking. And you need to seek for attention of allergy doctor or allergologist who will check for probable allergies and uh, do tests of uh, your blood for uh, immunoglobulins E, for example, that uh, take part in allergic reactions. There are some also problems when eosinophils, they infiltrate the internal organs. For example, stomach or gut. And uh, if uh, the patient has uh, high eosinophils and some belly problems, then allergologist plus gastroenterologist must uh, examine him. If the patient has uh, high eosinophils plus uh, some symptoms and after all checkup nothing is found, then uh, he may undergo bone marrow, marrow biopsy and uh, go to hematologist. Hematologist will check for other possible conditions, maybe problems with bone marrow, even tumorous problems. But number three cause of uh, high eosinophils is uh, uh, autoimmune or connective tissue diseases or rheumatological diseases. As you can see here, different uh, vasculitis or uh, inflammation of blood vessels or when granulomas are formed like sarcoidosis or maybe uh, rheumatoid arthritis or lupus or even celiac disease. This is gluten hypersensitivity. And the rheumatologist is a doctor who deals with these kind of problems. There are also some primary uh, syndromes that uh, we don't know the reason, but uh, they exist, they are more rare, and they are not topic for today. And one last group is uh, malignancy associated, meaning uh, associated with tumors. It can be tumors of bone marrow, lymph, uh, tissue like leukemia or lymphoma, uh, again, go to hematologist, or it can be associated with different uh, tumors like cancer or sarcomas, and uh, you can see tumors of GI tract, tumors of um, female organs or bladder, even lung cancer or thyroid cancer can cause high eosinophils. And this is the field of oncologist. Treatment, always treat the cause, if you don't have symptoms and uh, the increase is mild, you can just watch and recheck later. If the levels are very high and, and the organs are damaged, uh, we sometimes use uh, prednisone or we can use hydroxyurea or interferon alpha to decrease levels of eosinophils rapidly. Dear friends, that's all for today. I hope it was useful for you. There are a lot of reasons of high eosinophils and it's very tough to make the correct diagnosis. And often you need to go to many doctors until you figure out what's going on. I wish you to be healthy. God bless you. Bye-bye.